Hello everyone, uh, this is sort of a follow-up video to the, the last video I made on uh, the, the latest version of Simucraft. Uh, now one thing I mentioned in the, in the notes when I released it was uh, uh, your existing worlds won't load properly into the new um, version. Um, various things, there's, there's block IDs changed and uh, the actual game data itself has changed format slightly as well so it'll either just totally crash trying to load it or well I don't know what will happen really um, so this is what you can do, you can either start a fresh world and the where you go um, or you can c kind of salvage um, the world that you've, you've saved before and that's kind of what I need to do because I've got like um, a let's play series and so I've got a let's play world that I need to salvage in order to carry on playing in that world. So you can see here I've got um, the Minecraft saves folder and this is my let's play land that I use so this is what, what I want to salvage. So if we go into there now you can see all the usual data that Minecraft saves but there's an extra folder um, called Simucraft and that's got like buildings and farming boxes and the folks themselves you can see them there and information about the mining boxes um, how many credits you've got um, various other settings and things so all these files won't be loadable um, it will just probably crash a Minecraft if you, if you do try to load it so you've got to actually remove all of these and bear in mind you're going to lose all this data we can salvage most of it so if we go back and then just all you do is just delete that folder like that and now you should be able to load this this level but obviously all the structures will be there but all the control boxes and things like that won't be there so let's um, just close out of that and start up Minecraft and here we are inside the, the world it's loaded up now perfectly fine everything looks alright but you'll notice there's no folks around and if you go into the houses there's uh, all the control boxes have gone because the, the block IDs have changed um, I think there's one there, aren't there? Just black. Same goes for the the shops, like the butchers, and the the light boxes. And as you can see, they've changed into I think that's scaffolding from industrial craft or something. Uh, yeah, so the the block IDs change, so they get they might get replaced with things. Um, so you just need to like just replace them really. Um, now with the um, with the houses, they're easy to do. You just basically spawn in a control box and repair it. But the shops, like the this, the, the butchers, they'll be have to they'll need to be rebuilt, and that block needs replacing anyway from a couple of episodes ago. Um, so yeah, the the shops and stuff they need rebuilding. But uh, so if you use something like uh, not enough items or too many items, or if you, if you can get into creative mode. Um, you'll find um, the the Simicraft blocks around about 3,200 on the ID range, which is somewhere around it. There we go. Yeah, on mine it's 3,210. So you've got the building constructor, the control box, marker, mining, farming, and light box. Um, so if you just spawn in some of the control boxes. 64 should be plenty. Normally, you can't rest. Uh, there's no recipe for these, so you have to because they're not intended to be used like this, really. So, uh, but in this case, you need to. So, all you do is like this is a house, so I can just place down one just there, a bit of lag there. Okay, um, so then when you right click on it, you'll get this saying it's broken. So you get this on all control boxes, but you you, know, you only should press the fixed house when it actually is a house. Otherwise, if you do it with a bakery or butchers or something, it'll turn it into a house. So that's obviously not what you want. So if I click on that, that repairs the house, and somebody can move in. Um, I'll repair these as well later. The, the, it looks like uh, all the lights have been replaced by. Um, scaffolding from another mod but yours if you haven't got another mod on it might just be empty air as well uh, so you'll need to replace all the lights I'll just do that on this one the black hole just there and repair that 
So we just do that on all of them, and I think that covers the house. Yeah, there's a couple of people moving in already. So the folks all be back, obviously not the same names. Um, you could, if you want to, rename the file, the folk files that I've just shown you. Uh, you can rename those back to the original folks if you like. I might just do that. Um, the other thing you'll need to do then is, is the the shops. I think I've got the got the butchers here. Um, did I have a bakery? Yeah, I think there's a bakery here. That they'll need to be rebuilt, um, but they won't cost you anything. You basically put down the building constructor box exactly where you put it before, so mine will go just there, and then you hire somebody to build it again. They'll see all the all the blocks are there except for the control box. So again, the lights the lights have been replaced. Um, so all they'll do is replace the control block, and that won't cost anything. So you'll have a fully functional bakery or um, whatever. Just have a look down there. Yeah, there, there are the light boxes, I think. Um, been replaced by some sort of wooden block. Weird. And then the other thing you'll need to do is uh, like the farms and the mines will need setting up again. So here's, here's like the, the wheat farm. You can see the box is completely gone. Now you won't be able to just place the farming box down here. You'll need to like, um, let me just spawn in some, uh, some of those and just so I can show you. Right, so yeah, you'll need to uh, rebuild the, the farm just as it was before, so I'm going to have to lose that block there. Obviously using the new improved markers. And we did it do it to there. And another one there. and then put down the farming box and that should repair it and obviously you won't um, you won't need to upgrade it because it's already upgraded so that's the only thing it'll say you can upgrade it but it's a waste of money really because it's already upgraded just make sure that's set on the correct setting as well I mean mine's a wheat farm so no problem but if it's a um, melon farm the uh, the other one pumpkin um you'll need to change it and i may be adding uh, potatoes and uh, carrots as well i think they're normal crops i need, I need to check on that in, in minecraft 142 there's potatoes and and uh, carrots been added but i'm not sure if they just grow like a normal crop if they do then i can just very easily add it to with the, the farmer not sure if they're edible or what you do with them yet. <laughs> I really need to read up on it and see what's what's what is actually new. So that's the uh, that's the wheat farm replaced. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, the sheep farm as well. That will need uh, just rebuilding because um, the control block is missing. So again, you'll just uh, place down a building structure there, and that will build it. Maybe you build it one down. Um, that's actually the chicken farm. This is the uh, oh dear. <laughs> it was the sheep farm. But I don't think it will be with this guy in there. Dead sheep farm maybe. So I'll have to remove him first or her. And obviously the lights as well. Um, they'll either be missing or it'll, uh, it'll be replaced by some scaffolding in my case um, same goes for the mines um, I think I turned this one off anyway at the last episode I started a new mine just here you can see where the dark patches and one good thing you'll, you'll I'll, I'll be pleased here anyway <laughs> is the the miners won't die when gravel falls on their head or, or anything like that they're very 
resilient. They might even be able to fall down uh, all the way down there and not die. Um, they can survive in lava for about five to ten seconds. So they, they're a lot more robust, so they're less likely to die for stupid reasons like having gravel thrown on their heads. So again, again with the mines, you, you'd need to rebuild them, put the markers down and place the mining box down and then rehire the the miner again. So I think that's about it. So although you lose a, lose a few things by upgrading, at least you can actually salvage a world if you if you really need to, like I do with the the Let's Play world. Um, there's a new new guy, Brian Head, 18 years old. Uh, if you haven't read the release notes for the uh, this version, by the way, there's there's a few things changed. Um, it basically moved up to Forge. Um, um, but also I've made various other changes like uh, they'll age a lot slower so they'll only age by uh, one year every week instead of every day so they'll live longer that way and you, you can get more attached to them and uh, a couple of extra skins here's, here's good morning, good morning. <laughs> uh, here's, here's a new one N new extra skin I've added, I've added a few more that people have um, made for me. Getting a bit of lag now because I think I'm in the high resolution texture. Doesn't like it very much when I'm video capturing. But anyway, I'll restart my uh, Let's Play in the new version real soon. I think I've got a couple of more episodes already edited. Um, so they'll go out over the next week or so. I might, I might put two out just to get rid of them. And then uh, I can start uh, Let's Play inside the new version. Okay, thanks for watching and hope you've uh, found this useful. Bye.